My name is Mark Francis. Now, as everybody knows, British Sausage Week is upon us. In my mind, there's absolutely no difference between a sausage and a white albatrofel. Well, the price, perhaps, but that's really of no consequence whatsoever. You're going to have to listen very, very closely as we prepare for this immensely important event. There's nothing as demoralizing as a cheap sausage. It's just unthinkable. If they're frozen, if they're unspecified origin, if they're just unattractive, steer clear, always by the best. The ability to choose your sausage is of paramount importance. Is there sage in your hamper? Is there thyme in your pantry? Or are you just feeling a little pork and apple? Well, let me tell you, the sausage you choose says a great deal about who you are. So choose wisely. Now that we're in possession of our sausage, how do we cook it? Well, I've really no idea, but my chef tells me that when we're out of town, it goes in the argo. When we're in the city, it's grilled on a pan. And when we're abroad, it gets thrown in a cassoulet, all of which are divine. The sausage is to be served in only the worthiest company. In a boulangerie barn at breakfast, with burlotti beans at lunch, in a bolognese at supper. You see, the sausage is elegant and varied company. How does one tackle the delicate topic of eating the sausage? Well, with a knife and fork and fine porcelain, of course. I mean, I've heard stories of people using paper plates and plastic utensils and disposable napkins, but I simply don't believe them. And they can't be true. Surely not. No, stop it. Eat the sausage properly. People of Britain, now that you have learned everything you could possibly need to know to best enjoy British Sausage Week, go forth and purchase your sausages of distinction. Thank you and goodbye.